Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. My dad and I brought some math homework home, and I haven't had algebra since I was <laughs> 93. <laughs> I, I totally understand. I have no idea how to do this. I worked for GPS, and so I saw your number on my website, and I got mad because I called him. Oh, I'm so glad that you called. That's awesome. That's wonderful. Um, and, and we can definitely help you out with, with whatever questions it is uh, that you have. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have her talk to you. You talk to them and help. Okay. Right here. Okay, it says, write a literature for the expression. Integer. Integer. For the expression, minus 20. So, read that to me one more time. It says, write the literature for the expression. It says, Minus and parentheses and 20. So minus and then parentheses 20. And then 20. Um, and it said, it said write an expression for the integer. Write the, the yeah. in, integer. Write an integer for the expression. Okay. Okay. So um, first let me, let me help you out with that word with the integer. Um, yeah, so an integer is, uh, it's like a whole number. So like 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. But it also includes the negative numbers, like okay. negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Okay. Um, and so you said that the expression, it was negative sign and then parentheses 20, correct? 20, yes. Okay, so really um, your answer is going to be an integer. You know, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, so on, or positive 1, positive 2, positive 3. Right. Um, what happens with that negative sign is um, it just it makes those parentheses essentially disappear. Um, so okay. Oh, right on. Okay, okay, I understand that. Now she's got another one. I so, okay. This is the one. It says minus parentheses minus ten parentheses. So minus parentheses minus ten. Parentheses. Okay, so yep. what you want to think of is think of that negative sign on the outside as right. telling you you're doing the opposite of whatever's on the inside. And so okay. the opposite would be, you know, for example, if you had uh, negative 2, the opposite would be positive 2. If so you had two. positive 2, the opposite would be negative 2. So you're doing the opposite of negative 10, which would be what? 10. Exactly, and that's exactly, and since that's an integer, there you go. Okay, uh, here you've got to do this. I don't, oh, there it is. Okay, so this would be, so this would be 20. Okay, and I haven't seen this homework like this since never. You're probably right. The math is very, is very different from, from when you and I were in school. It's a lot different and taught a lot differently than, than it was then, yeah. for sure. I mean, I have no idea how to do any of this. I mean, this is crazy. I can do some, but some of the, I have no idea. But I can't tell you how many parents I hear that from. I hear it from so many parents. <laughs> her mother doesn't even know how to do this, and I said, I have no idea how to do this. We are going to call somebody to help us. Well, that's why we're here. Good. Okay, <laughs> then the next one is, it's a line with a minus 4 and a line. Say that, say that one more time. It has a, a line, ah. like, and then a minus 4, and another line behind it. Okay. So what those lines mean, those lines are called um, absolute value. Okay. And what absolute value is, is it is talking about the distance of that number from zero. So okay. what they're asking it with that, what, what you described to me, what they're asking is how far away is negative four from zero on the number line? Oh, okay. So that would be okay. That would be okay. So okay, that helps. She's got to do. I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully we can help you sort it out. Is this is it helping so far? I'm to do that one. Okay. Then she's got um, minus two lines, negative four, and another line. So uh, minus two, 
No, a minus and then a line. Okay. And then a minus four and then another line. Minus four and then another line. Okay. Right. So what you want to do on that one is first, first find the absolute value of negative four, okay. which, you know, we did in that last problem, which is four, right. and then you want to do the opposite, so that that um, sign on the outside of the lines is telling right. you to do the opposite of that. Oh right, okay, okay, so seven. <laughs> you know, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Does it make a little bit more sense now? No, a little bit. Okay, let's see. Uh, nine times two times that would be. Oh man! All right, then she's got a line and nine minus two with another line. Okay, so okay. those lines again um, are going to be absolute value. But one thing okay. that you'll do is you're going to you're going to treat those absolute value signs and whatever's on the inside almost like parentheses. You know, whenever you have parentheses um, around your operations, you have to do whatever's inside of there first. Okay. So you want to do, for that one, you want to do the 9 minus 2 first, and okay. then your answer, then you'll find the absolute value of your answer. And so then you're finding the distance from 0 of that answer. So you'll do that 9 minus 2, which is 7, uh -huh. then absolute value of 7, which is just then seven. It's just, it's just seven. Right. So That's then that would two. be your final answer on that one. Right. Then she has two with the line minus nine the line. Okay, so that's that's going to be very similar to the first one. Or not the first one, the one um, where you had absolute value of negative four, you know, where you had the lines and then the negative four on the inside. So okay. again it's it's thinking of how far away is that number that's on the inside? How far away is that from zero? That would be minus nine, okay. And so, um, and so when you're thinking about distance, think of it, it's always gonna be a positive number. Like, uh, for example, if I were three feet away from you, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm negative three feet away from you. I would say I'm three feet. Three it's, feet away from you. Right, so right. It's always, distance is always measured um, in, in positive numbers. So right. um, when you're saying that, all right, negative 9, uh, the distance from 0 is actually going to be 9 spaces. So it would actually end up being a positive 9 would be your answer. Okay. So, okay, but what about 2? What about which one? Okay, it says 2 line minus, minus. Okay, it says it's 2 and then line, a negative 9 and a line. So it says 2 and then the line, and then a negative nine, and then the line again? Right. Okay, so first find that absolute value of negative nine, which is, nine. which is what? Nine. Okay, good. And then when that two, when you have a number kind of almost squished up against it like that, yeah. uh, what that means is you're, you're multiplying it. So you found the absolute value of negative nine first, which is nine, and then you'll take that times two. Oh, so that's a um, multiple. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Now that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Then we have, uh, okay. I think I can get the rest of them. Okay, let me find. I have another one. Okay. So this is crazy. Minus <laughs> n for n equals 5. Uh, say that one more time. Minus? Minus n for n equals 12. For n equals 5. Okay, I believe what they're having uh, her do there is replacing right. n with n. 5. Okay, it says minus n mm -hmm. for n equals 12. n equals 5 or 12? 12. 12. Okay, sorry. Oh. That's my fault. Okay, it says minus n for n equals 12. Four and and you're when you say four you mean um, yes they are okay perfect that's what I thought all right so <laughs> then what <laughs> that's okay I was just trying to make sure you didn't mean that's the number four gotcha <laughs> so um, minus n or negative n what they're wanting you to do is replace that n with twelve and so um, when you're replacing it with twelve then you would end up with minus twelve or negative twelve so you go to negative twelve mm -hmm. oh. 
Okay, all right. And I think I can do that one. Okay, and see if it would be, so if it would, minus B for B equals minus 12 would be plus 12. Uh, say that one more time. It's minus. Okay. My, B, minus B. Okay. For B equals minus 12. Okay. So that means you're doing, um, you're replacing B with negative 12. So then okay. what that expression would look like, it would be minus parentheses minus 12. Okay. And then you know how, so earlier we dealt with one. Um, right. With right. that minus negative 10, same idea. You're doing the opposite of negative 12, which would give, would then give 12. you that positive 12. Exactly. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm starting to understand this. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. If I remember right what you told me, I've got to do this. A plus 6 equals minus. Oh, man. I have no idea how to do this stuff. Um, is there any any others that I can help you with? There's a bunch of them, but I don't want to keep looking at line that long. There are 25 different answers. Different. There's, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25. And she's helped me with half of them. Okay. <laughs> are they all the same type of problem or are they different type type okay I think I can get this one but I it says right which is less minus 14 or 13 um oh they said to do what with the with negative it says, 14 in? it says which is less and then it has a line minus 14 with another line or 13 okay and so are the lines around the 14, the minus 14? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's saying absolute value of negative 14, which we know that the absolute value now, it means, you know, distance from zero. Right. So that would actually, the value of that is 14. And then the other one is just 13. So, right. okay, so knowing their true value, then you can yeah. say which one is really less. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. Oh, wonderful. Good, good, good. Thank you okay. so much for calling okay. us. Just one more time. Okay. <laughs> because I think I can figure out the other ones. It says if x is in two lines equals 6, then x equals minus 6 or that's it. Six or, okay, so it's the two lines are around the X. Is that yes. correct? Okay, so what they're saying is if um, the absolute value of some number okay. is six, then that number has to either be negative six or what other number is six away from zero. Okay, all right. Okay, then it says, then x equals minus 6 or what? So you know that negative 6 is 6 spaces away from 0, correct? Right. And then there's another number on the number line that would also be 6 spaces away from 0, um, and that would just be your, your positive 6, six. as All well. Right. That, that helps me a whole lot. Okay, Thank I'm you. really, really glad that we could help because I know this but, stuff... Is, it's not yeah. easy stuff, especially if you haven't seen it in a while. Thank you. You really me a lot. Good. I'm glad. You're more than welcome. Please let it, people know about, about us, too, because we're happy to help. And you can call back, too, if you've got anything else that comes up, you know, at any yeah. other time. I just happened, I was checking my emails, and I happened to see, do you need help? And I wrote your number down and put it in my cell phone. And I'm thought, so I'm glad. I'm so glad. Thank you so much for calling. I'm, I really hope that we helped. Help. All right. Well, um, call us back if you have any more issues, and, and even after the show if you need to. So we're here until 530. If you need okay. to call us after that, we'll also we'll be around for a little bit after that, too, if you need to call back and, and get any more questions Thank answered. Thank you so much. You're, you're more than welcome. I, I hope that helps, and have a good day. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye.